Hi, I'm Nick Salazar for TriRig.com and I just wanted to post a quick video update of the Omega Brake Project. Um, as you can see, I've got my prototype front brake up here on my P3. Um, and I'm running these on a pair of Zip 404 Firecrest carbon clinchers. You can see the uh, Firecrest logo right down here and the carbon clincher logo right there. And I think in this shot you should be able to see there is plenty of clearance and I haven't maxed out the Omega's clearance range. Um, so these should be good to go on anything out there. The Firecrest are some of the widest rims out. I think the, uh, the head stingers are just a little bit wider, but there will be plenty of clearance for those as well. And uh, the brake's running great. I'll just uh, pop it up and down a couple times so you can see this is actually working. The other thing I wanted to talk about is exactly what's happening with the prototyping of the brake and production going forward. So here's the original version of the Omega in the plastic prototype form that I've showed off. And as I showed on the Cervelo, through this sort of shoulder area, it's just a little bit wider than the very narrow fork on the Cervelo. Uh, there are a lot wider forks out there and Cervelo's probably the thinnest on the market, but I wanted to make sure the brake was fast on every bike that anyone would put it on. So I put the Omega on a pretty serious diet and as you can see, it's gotten a lot smaller. It's super narrow through that shoulder area and it's gonna hide within the frontal profile of any fork on the market. It's a little tricky to tell in the video, but the tire clearance also has improved by three or four millimeters. And so you can run any tire you want on the Omega and you're not gonna have any problems. Um, clearance to the pads, which aren't installed right now, is about 32 millimeters at the top of the brake track and about 34 at the bottom at its maximum position. So you can run any rim that you want. I think the widest rims that are out there currently are about 28 millimeters wide. And so even if someone comes out with say a 30 millimeter wide rim, the Omegas are gonna work just fine. And that's with full size standard six millimeter tall pads. Anyway, the, the biggest challenge in narrowing the Omega so much was finding somewhere to put the return spring. Because in the original version, we had a spring inside this mechanism, but now there's simply no room for it. There's nowhere for it to attach. So I had to come up with a different type of return mechanism and uh, I'll be showing off how that works once I have the production version in place, but I have it working on this prototype and I'm pretty happy with it. So once it's all set, I will uh, reveal a little bit more. So stay tuned to TriRig.com. And if you just want to look at Omega news, you can bookmark TriRig.com slash Omega. Thanks a lot.